Hi guys, today we're continuing with part 2 on the top signs and symptoms of diabetic neuropathy. For those who haven't seen part 1 please visit the playlist. Okay, now let's talk about this. What about autonomic neuropathy? Autonomic neuropathy you can understand from its name is autonomic disease it works on its own without you even knowing it, your heart rate for example, do you regulate your heart rate? What regulates your heart rate? Yes you guessed it right. The autonomic nervous system has two nervous systems in its class namely the sympathetic nervous system, and the parasympathetic nervous system. So the sympathetic nervous system basically increases your heart rate. The parasympathetic nervous system helps calm you down so that dysfunction is not common. When I put my stethoscope on someone's chest and usually what I expect is when you breathe, your sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system balances change constantly it's like a fluid so when people breathe their heart rate changes. If your heart rate doesn't change and it's like instead of going like this, bum, 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 and now it's constantly like, bum bum bum, it doesn't even change with breathing. That's the problem, it matters because I know it has to change as you breathe, so it's a sign of autonomic nervous system dysfunction. Did you know that your sweat is from the sympathetic nervous system, maybe you just sweat while sitting there and saying something what, 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 unless you're talking about an embarrassing moment. I don't think you can sweat, but sweating is also identified with the sympathetic nervous system. Now normally we sweat to try to get rid of heat, you know your sympathetic nervous system is working, let's say you are running fast or very fast than normal then your heart rate goes up, your parasympathetic system is working, generating heat you have to dissipate that heat and you have a sweat that is controlled by the sympathetic nervous system. But it's also not fun when you're wearing sweaters all the time, you might want to think about how it could actually be a sign of diabetic neuropathy. You may be wondering, you are losing bladder control and you are getting older, it could be not just getting older but possibly diabetic neuropathy. Again bladder control is determined by the coordination of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. So if you lose control, you may experience overflow incontinence. In it, your synthetic nervous system doesn't recognize the contraction or filling of your bladder and you can end up with overflow incontinence, which is a sign you have to look for or you to be aware of is one of the signs of diabetic neuropathy. Now having difficulty looking back is another sign when you have light, for example you know your pupils are strict and then when it's cold your pupils dilate, you have no control that's under the control of the autonomic nervous system. If it takes again you may start to see blurry and you know it may be too bright, it may be too dark for you. Color perception can change, so it could be a sign of diabetic neuropathy. Finally vertigo it could be an inner ear problem, it could be a brain problem, but it could also be due to diabetic neuropathy. So don't talk to a neurologist. To dig deeper into these symptoms visit your endocrinologist and talk further with your neurologist to dig deeper into the problem if your sugar isn't firmly under control. Improving your blood sugar control will help relieve some of these symptoms, and some of them can also be controlled with certain medications. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this channel so far. And I hope you've subscribed.